I've been sitting here for like five minutes trying to start this video and I have the hiccups. But I think they're over with. Yeah. <laughs> nope, they're not. Okay, I am very excited. I don't know. It's like it is an exciting update to this. It's like we get to roll out two items and bring two new ones in, but it's not like that exciting. Like, you know, um, I don't know. I just, I feel good. We've only got 20 something more categories left in this. And uh, I think we're getting there. We're getting there because this is like update, what, 14 to the Project 50 pan. I think it's update 14. Yeah, we started this y'all in March of 2019. That is crazy, crazy. So obviously, what is this? This is the, this is created by Rebecca Morgan and Alexi. I always link them down below and in the cards. Their roulette pan collab is ending in another month, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Um, but so this is totally taken from them. It is their original 50 categories that they had and I just wanted to it was like my first year project panning and so I think it's really cool and challenging that they give themselves like the four month um like time frame on this but I got nervous I was like mm, four months like I don't you know that just I didn't know like what I was getting into and so I was like I'm not gonna put a time frame on it we are just going to get through all 50 categories so it's been like a little over a year and we're still working on it so let's just get right into it let's not make this too long and rambly right okay so the first product which um, has been in since October uh, is category uh, 39 a colorful eyeliner so I did not have any colorful eyeliner so what I brought in was my essence extreme long-lasting eyeliner in the shade 06 silky nude i wear this every day in my waterline because i feel like it makes my eyes look more awake and so this little nub is what we are left with you guys it's done it's done we had that black sharpie line on it as our goal line now i do have to be quite honest with you so if i hold it up on the piece of paper you can see that we are like just right at that goal line which is fine but you see how big of a jump that is from the last time you saw it down to here so when I went to sharpen it one time I think it was like really recently like it was really close to the last time that I, uh, I updated this I went to sharpen it and a good chunk of it like crumbled out and I was like oh no does that mean it's like drying out like did I not use this quickly enough like what happened so I like continued sharpening it got a nice point on it and it's been fine it's still really creamy so then I like used up that like sharpened part and then today was the first day that I resharpened it since then so maybe that's a little bit cheating because we met our goal because some of it crumbled but I use this every day it's not very exciting like I really put it in here to get myself into the habit of using it every day because if I remember correctly when I first brought it in I, I wasn't using a product like this and so I wanted to put it in here to kind of force myself into that habit and I have definitely made that a habit so I'm fine with calling this one done like obviously it's not finished I'm gonna finish it off in my own time just wearing it every day but for the sake of this project goal met one item rolled out okay so then the next category we had was a drugstore product so i picked my essence sun club matte bronzer in the shade 01 natural which that shade name is just not it's not a good shade name um anyway i think i have pictures of it from what it was looking like last month the pan on it like expanded i think i like technically hit side pan on it um, it was just getting to the point where with my brush that I use, it was getting harder to get like an even application of product. So I did end up repressing it. I was able to like mush everything into the center of it. And so this is what it is looking like now. So I even hit pan again after I repressed it, y'all. You can tell. This is so thin. If this is not gone by the next month, I will be shocked I am so ready to have this out of my life it's not that it's a bad product it's just 
15 grams of product is a lot to get through. So like I'm ready, you know, it's just kind of like one of those things where you've used this product so many times and you're just like, I'm ready, I'm ready for it to be done. So I am actually putting my bronzers in my pan that face palette on hold just so that I can solely focus on this guy, hopefully by next month. <clears throat> okay. Then the next thing we had was a product you hadn't used much. So for what I, what I picked for this was my lovely friend Laura had gifted me these Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. And so this was like new to me. I hadn't used it much like it fit that category. And I really just wanted to play around and get used out of this. And so she tipped me off to the way that she likes to use them mixed in with like primers or foundation. And so that is how I have been using it. This blends out so nicely and it gives such a nice effect. So my goal is to use this 20 times within this project because it's new. Like I'm not looking to like use it up. I just wanted to enjoy it um, since it was such like a thoughtful gift. So this month, so it got rolled in last time. So I have used it eight times in total since you since rolling it in. So we need to use it an additional 12 more times to meet our goal. And I don't see that being a problem. Um, I think by the next month we'll have this, you know, rolled out goal met, which will be fun. Okay, then the next thing is a hair care item, which I did actually end up finishing off. It is my Shea Moisture like kids detangler, but I use this as a leave-in conditioner. And so as you can see, it is done. I think there's like a little bit of product hanging out down in the bottom, but like what I'm gonna do is I've opened up um, a new bottle. So this little like little spurt that's left in there, I will just dump into the new bottle and use it that way. That way there's no product loss. But when we originally brought it into this product, when we originally brought it into this project, we were here at this line last time we were here. And so now it's done. Um, I did go back to like only washing my hair like once a week, but it's a really weird, this climate here where I live is really weird to me. Like it's very humid in the summer. So I feel sweaty constantly, but my skin and my hair feel dry at the same time. It's, it's really weird. So I did start using like a little bit more of that product. Um, when I would use it just because my hair did feel so dry. So it is gone. We get to roll something new in for that. And so then the next category that we had was a product from NYX. I believe this came in last time. So I don't have very many NYX products. So I just picked their lip primer um, just because it's, again, I'm trying to get myself into the habit of using this. And so I have it marked on a piece of paper, but this is one of those products where I can like roll it up so here is how much product is in there and yeah we are looking to finish this off and so i have it on the sheet where i can like show you what we've done with it but there you can see the intro line and then the like today here's update one for it so a little bit of progress i'm actually kind of surprised i thought that this would be really slow going but i'm glad to see like even though it's not like there's not a lot of space in between those lines. It's more than I expected. And so I'm really happy for that. Um, and then the last one was an expensive product. So I pulled in my philosophy purity made simple pore extractor mask. And so the goal was just to like get underneath like the wording down here. So you can see this is where we brought it in. Now it has been laying on its side. So if it doesn't look correct, then that's because it was laying on its side. It is marked correctly. But here is where we are at now. So that's a pretty good amount of usage. Um, I use this two to three times a week, just like it says, um, like on the directions, I'm not overusing this. I did switch back and forth. Like, so if I used it like three times a week, let's say like maybe two of those times, it was actually as like it's intended like face mask purpose. But there are some days where I'm just like lazy to be quite honest, but I do like how this Feels. It has like a nice grit to it. So I really do think that it's a nice like exfoliator. So I would use it also um, as just like a face wash. So when I use it as a face wash, I use less product because it kind of like it doesn't harden. It gets like lathery and like kind of creamy almost. 
but then when I use it as a face mask, obviously it's still like a thin layer that I'm applying, but it, you know, you have to use more to like spread it all over your face. So, but yeah, I'm just going to continue to use it. I think by next month we will um, definitely have met our goal, especially if I continue to be in the habit of like using this, but this is one of my most like expensive face care products. So, and it's like a year old, I think. Now it still smells fine. I haven't had a reaction, but I really want to make a conscious effort to finish this off by the end of the year. So that is all of the products that we have been working on. So like I said, we get to pick two new numbers. That's always so exciting. It's It keeps it like fresh. Like I love these rolling projects instead of just like, okay, here's all of my items that I will be working on. You know, um, it just keeps it fun. But anyway, so we have 21 through 23 put in and we only really have 20 categories to choose from because three of them that are on the paper have been like highlighted off like we're currently working on them or we've already finished them but let's just pick our two new numbers together so we get 20 which we've already had so number 15 a product that smells nice 15 a product that smells nice okay okay and then number 14 we've had 14 that's a product from nyx so nine 15 and nine a sparkly product is nine a sparkly product oh these categories are going to be hard okay it is probably going to take me a hot minute to figure this out i will be right back okay sorry if the angle changed my camera died um so a sparkly product and a product that smells nice so product that smells nice was 15 the one we pulled first I went back and forth a lot of my things that smell nice are like body care items and I, I thought for a minute to put in like a shower gel but the reason I don't add shower gels to like any project pan items or project pan like things that I do is simply because like my husband will just use whatever shower like body wash is in the shower like doesn't matter if it's a more like fruity florally scent because by the, like when you wash and you shower off like it really smells up the shower but those scents don't really tend to like linger at least in my experience so that's my roundabout way of saying like why I'm not putting in a shower gel into this is because he would use it too and then I just personally like I just feel like that's it's not like cheaty but it is cheaty like it wouldn't just be my use that I could show you guys um so it's like hard to track these kinds of products but I have a ton of them in my closet and so I really need to make a conscious effort to be using them so I'm going to throw in this body cream from Bath and Body Works it is in the flavor cactus blossom which they describe as a bright cactus petals blended with sun-kissed coconut and vanilla when I smell this I don't smell any I don't smell any coconut or vanilla I mean it smells nice it smells like florally, but not like too overpowering. So I am working on another lotion in my um, 21 by 2021, but I am finding that even though, like I said, it's humid here. And so I feel like sweaty. I am still finding that my skin is like dry and like I have dry patches, especially like around my ankles and on like my shin bone area. So what I will start doing is using this predominantly at night and then the other like more it's like a standard body lotion not a cream I'll use that during the day and that'll be good because it'll like break up the scent like I usually do have like two body lotions going on at the same time but yeah so the goal will be to finish this off I know like there's no real way to mark it um what I'll do is I'll use it and then once I like push that air bubble out that's when i find like it's time to cut this open and scoop out all the product because it just gets too hard to um like get it out after that so once i like deposit it into another container it'll be like a little bit more satisfying to track because you'll actually be able to like visually see progress but yeah so this is what is coming in now with the goal to finish it up and then for a sparkly product i went back and forth my mind automatically went to glitter and I was hesitant because I know so many people, which rightfully so, you, I'm not like judging you or saying that you're like wrong or anything like that. Like we're all allowed to make our own opinions. Um, but a lot of people don't like 
the like pressed glitters that we've been seeing in palettes. I, however, really enjoy them. I haven't had a problem with them. My eyes haven't had a reaction. I'm really careful when I use them. So sparkly product, my mind went to glitter. So I am finally going to throw this Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette into a project. So now, as you can see, I already do have pan on two of the glitter shades, but I would love to hit pan on the Soothe glitter right here, as well as, what is this one, the Ritual glitter? Is that what it is? Yeah. So the Soothe and Ritual glitters, I would love to hit pan on these. So I'm going to give you a swatch of these two. And it's not like glitter isn't something that I wear every day. Like that's why I wanted to throw in two of them. But I feel like those are just such pretty colors, especially for this time of year. Should we throw in the red one too? The um, story glitter? Should we just do three? Because the blue one, the memory one, I really like that in like the fall. Or not the fall, the winter. Like because it's just, it's not like an icy blue, but it is like a blue color. But this story one is nice and red. So maybe we'll throw in all three of these. The story one is underneath. So if you're looking at that, it's the Soothe glitter, the, the Ritual glitter, and then the Story glitter. I think we'll throw in all three. We'll try to hit pan on all three, okay? Let's make it fun and exciting. It'll keep it interesting. And I think my favorite out of the three, like I would have told you before looking at all three of them together that it would have been the Soothe one, the one on top, but that um, story one at the bottom, the red, it's like got a lot of red glitters, but then it has like these pretty gold glitters in it. So it almost kind of looks like fiery in a, in a way. Okay, that's enough of that. But yeah, so that is everything that we will be adding into this project. So by the next update, what do I think I could accomplish? I could probably have pan on one of those glitters. They're not like that deep um, or like hard to hit pan on. <coughs> that's why I want to keep it interesting and have three in so that it is a little bit more challenging but I could probably have pan on one of those um I should have gold met on the face mask I should have gold met on the custom um drops by cover effects we should have this bronzer done so that could be like three items rolling out which would be really exciting so I am having so much fun. Again, please don't forget to check out Rebecca and Alexi who are linked down below. If I can remember, I will try to link like the actual playlist um, so that you can just binge watch a bunch of people's content. I know so many good people are doing this like that are fun to like watch. Um, so like Laura's doing it, Kaylee's doing it, Steph is doing it, um, Emily is doing it. Um, isn't Emily doing Aren't you? Yeah, you are. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so just go check out the playlist, go check out the creators, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!